Hi children, welcome back to today's session. Uh, today I have come up with grammar topic uh, that is the principal parts of a verb. Okay, let us begin. The three main parts of a verb uh, from which all the other verbs are formed are. Uh, dear students, uh, we have uh, three kinds of verbs in English. Uh, those verbs uh, formed in uh, three tenses. What are those? Uh, first one present tense, second one past tense, uh, third one past participle. Okay. Uh, next, verbs can be divided into two parts according to the manner in which they form their past tense and past participle. Uh, according to the manner, according to means mainly a verb can be classified into two parts. Uh, what are those two parts? Uh, first one strong verbs, second one weak verbs. Okay, uh, let us know the uh, uh, example for uh, strong verbs. First one in present tense drive, fast tense draw. Uh, third one, fast participle, drive one. Okay, we have second example here. Uh, give, gave, given. Okay. Uh, next, uh, move to the uh, second part of the verb that is weak verbs. Okay. In present tense, call, fast tense, called, fast participle, called. Okay. Next one, build, built, built. Third one, bleed, blood, blood. Next one, bet, bet, bet. Okay. Uh, let us know the, uh, as we have seen, uh, what do you mean strong verbs? Okay. Let us know the definition of strong verbs. Those verbs which form their fast tense by changing the vowel in the body of the verb, a word, without adding any suffix. Here, a strong verb are formed without adding any word or any suffix or prefix. Okay, here for example, ring, rang, rung. Uh, in uh, weak verbs, uh, we uh, form verb like, you know, uh, call, called, called. Here, here call is added with ed in the past tense so like that here uh, we do not add do we do not add any uh, prefix or suffix in the uh, strong verbs so they are called strong verbs okay uh, here we have a list of uh, strong verbs then uh, you uh, come to know what is strong verbs and how to form strong verbs okay uh, first one in present tense arise arose arisen here uh, we uh, see uh, three different forms of verbs okay in present tense arise past tense arose fast participle arisen and uh, next beat beat beaten here but we do not add any suffix. Next, bid, bed, bidden. Blow, blew, blown. Next, pout, pout, pout. Ply, flew, flown. Forget, forgot, forgotten. Freeze, froze, frozen. Okay, so these are all strong verbs. Okay, uh, as I have, I have told you, a uh, strong verb uh, completely a uh, change in uh, three sentences of English okay uh, we see different form in present tense then we see uh, that same verb different form in past tense then we also see a different form in 
past participle that is strong verb did you get here in present tense arise verb i do not does not come as same in the past tense okay here uh, it takes different form that is arose did you get so like that we see three different forms of verb in the three tenses okay that is called strong verbs uh, dear students i hope uh, you have got uh, what is strong verb and uh, how to identify strong verbs okay uh, i hope you have cleared uh, with this i will stop here uh, still if you have any confusion any doubts you can ask me uh, thank you for watching this video uh, have a beautiful day thank you